What if you could take a picture of your food and instantly see all the ingredients and health impact? The AI working behind the scenes in this free app is mind blowing. Healthier choices with AI, it's technically possible. I'm Katie Linendahl, and I'm always on the hunt for the latest innovations in technology, especially the ones that can truly impact people's lives. And you'll find some of the most amazing gadgets that you never heard of in this series. So let's go. A little behind the scenes, my inbox, it's flooded, and it's kind of embarrassing. But y'all, I'm a great skimmer. A majority of these emails are PR companies pitching me new technologies in hopes to be featured on one of my many media outlets. It is a solar-powered headphone from Urbanista. These are Xander, Xander glasses. Oh. Closed captioning glasses. Say hello to Heat It. It is this tiny little accessory to heat and treat the bug bite. January came across my inbox, a free app that is a powerhouse backed by millions of data points and years of research. What if you could scan your meal and instantly see nutritional value and glucose impact? Or alternatively, scan a barcode at a store and see how the ingredients impact before you purchase and even get healthier options. Fast forward and many meals logged later, I was amazed and I included it in one of my Today Show segments focused on health tech tips. This is a groundbreaking app. It is called January. And what it does is it actually allows you to take a picture of any meal, any food, and instantly it will show you the nutritional facts and show you how much fiber, how much protein's no. in there, how many calories are in there. And then here's the kicker too. It'll also show you the glucose impact without having to wear a glucose monitor. So you just monitor. took a picture right there. I just there. took a picture of this salad. It told me every single ingredient that's in here. Now I can go one step further and see the impact of it. The response to the app was so insane, hitting top five apps in the App Store. I asked January's co-founder to come on and share a little bit more about what's happening behind the scenes and what's next. What was the genesis of creating January? Uh, January started uh, seven years ago. Basically, um, I was having some health problems of my own. My parents were having health problems. I was obsessed with prevention, prevention, prevention. We are just adding things to it. And right now we're going to add a health coach to it. Um, we're going to add wearables to it. It's uh, it's going to be really, really exciting. But so far, what you see in the app is you have the food scan, you have barcode scan, you have natural language processing, you can speak to it. You can just say, I had mango and Skittles, and then it can just figure out um, the values of those. You can also search for 2 million recipes. You can search for local foods and chain restaurants. So it's pretty comprehensive. The idea is that if you find it, you can become educated about it. You can hack it, you can log it, and hopefully become a little bit more aware of what you're eating. And you know, if you have really high cholesterol, you're trying to minimize, let's say, saturated fat, be able to do that, be able to say, okay, I need to really increase my fiber. I want to make sure I'm getting enough protein every day and really try to very easily by snapping a photo of what's in front of you, become a little bit more educated about what you're sticking in your body. How many people are you finding are using the scanning, like the barcode in the grocery store, as opposed to snapping a photo of their food or verbally telling what they yeah. have? Yeah, prior to your segment, it was like two thirds of the people were doing searches, like actually typing. And after your segment is pretty even now, about half the people take <laughs> pictures and about half the people do text searches. I have to ask you, like, what was the impact from the Today Show hit? It was incredible. We made, we made it to like number five on the App Store's health and wellness category for about a few days. So it was really fantastic. It was exciting. It was really magical. I think you did a great job actually. I mean, it was a salad so there wasn't much to hack it, you know right. it's really fun like if you're doing guavos rancheros or something you could say what if i ate half the tortilla you can easily rip out the pizza crust you don't have to eat the cold crust yeah. if you don't want to that you could make... challenge with tv you got 30 seconds to like you know blah, you, should, you should see what my brain the in the inner workings are doing <laughs> so i think you did an incredible job spreading the board and also saying you can log food here which is really important because people were coming to us just for scanning and now they understand oh i can log my food here i don't have to go back to my my fitness pal i can just stay here would you say it's for everyone or would you say that you're it's percentages for diabetic or for those that are need glucose monitor you're, no, you're i everything. think it's absolutely for everyone i think if you're keto if you're if you're an athlete i think if you're generally concerned about your gut health and generally want to reduce inflammation and reduce risks of chronic condition it's for you i think if you just want to know what you're doing because i think I cannot tell you how many people I talked to because this was a journey I went through myself and then I've seen other people. The stuff people throw in their smoothies, for example, they throw a whole entire banana into the smoothie and you don't really need a whole banana. That's 27 
grams of sugar. You don't need all that. You can put in half or you can swap it out for avocado. Actually, you get the same creaminess without getting the sugar spike, for example. I think the most important thing Katie, is we need everyone to onboard onto their own health journey to understand that the government, the doctor, the husband, the wife, the kid, that no one can make you healthy. Actually, you're the only one who controls what goes into your mouth. And it, you need to figure out, okay, I'll make a deal with myself. I can indulge on this stuff. I can let go a little bit of this stuff. A little bit more of this, a little bit less of this. I think there are no silver bullets when it comes to nutrition. We don't believe in, in depriving people. We don't believe in telling them, don't eat sugar, don't eat flour, you know, walk 10,000 steps. It's just not what people are going to do. Curious on the AI side, how we're yeah. such a timely state of everybody wants to know everything in AI, whether it's retail, consumer, healthcare, sure. et cetera. How much acceleration has the AI and the machine learning, especially as it's advanced over the years, been integral in the creation of where January is right now? Because that app is blazing. Like it is fast. Oh, we were an AI company from day one. We named the company January AI back in 2017 were at some point for three years we were just eight people machine learning people and and me there was no there was no product there was no there was nothing um so we are an ai company so sometimes when you say to people that you're a generative ai that predicts the next glucose level they go wait but generative ai is a year old it's like no it's not and even open ai didn't start yesterday you know open ai also started back in 2017 time frame so we ourselves have our in-house homegrown generative AI that predicts glucose. We've combined it in the app with vision model and a language model from other people. So what you see, this, this thing where you can see a picture, can recognize what's in it, and then give it a name. And it gives the funniest names. I was at a conference and they had little pieces of waffle that had a stick and they were hanging on like threads that people would pick up. And it said, ice cream like waffle dessert with dipped in white chocolate with dried strawberries. I was like, that is insane. So the picture gives it a name and then it puts our blood, the blood sugar comes from us. That's our model. That's not, that's not chat GPT. That's us. Uh, so we just, we put that on top. We basically look at the nutrients. Once we have the nutrients, we can figure out uh, for this person, for their demographics, their age, height, BMI, uh, gender, age, and disease state, what their blood sugar is. So we have combined it. That's why it's so, it feels so magical. I think being able to close the human behavior loop is very powerful. And if you want to take it one step further, the January Pro version integrates a glucose monitor that you wear for 14 days to train the AI, providing you with a ton of insights into your body. So let me know if you try out January and what you think. And if you know anyone that is trying to monitor their health, we'd love for you to share this video. And of course, if you like this video, I hope you stay tuned for more amazing technologies Hit that subscribe button and the like button, which I always appreciate. I'm Katie Lennendahl. Stay tuned and don't give up the ship.